this conference. Uh, my question is, why did he get a bonus? Didn't the President of the United States issue a pay freeze? Um, I wasn't part of that decision. You're and the Chief of Staff. You're telling me you're not involved in, in, in any sort of bonuses. I was not involved in that bonus. Uh, Who was? The administrator and um, there's a performance Johnson, management review. Ms. Johnson, why were you giving out bonuses when the President said there was a pay freeze? The senior executives were entitled to bonuses under our um, uh, were entitled to bonuses. Uh, I don't believe the pay freeze affected those bonuses. Well, would the gentleman yield for just one question? As long as it doesn't take some of my time. The gentle, the gentle lady just had just seemed to say entitled. I thought it was uh, that they were possibly going to be granted. Entitlement seems to be a question I, I, the gentleman may want to follow up on. I apologize. I did not, not mean entitlement. Oh, I think you did mean entitlement. I think that's the fundamental problem that America gets and that government doesn't get. There are a lot of good federal employees who work hard, they're patriotic, and they're, they're frugal with their money. But when you see this widespread abuse of money, and then you, you as the former administrator, say, well, they were entitled to it, that's where there's frustration just steaming out of our ears. It is totally unacceptable. And for the President of the United States to look the American people in the eye and say, well, we got a pay freeze in place while you're getting bonuses and going on trips is totally unacceptable.